Samuel Genetic Demon. And this is What's on the Tape, Season 9, Volume 2. And it's the second part of this tape. So um, this is a tape that we got last week um, from my friend Eduardo. And this time round, I don't know what's on this tape because um, we didn't have any technical failures. Well, not, I'm saying we don't, didn't have any technical failures. I'm hoping we have no technical failures because I haven't started playing it yet. So I have no idea what's on this tape. But Side A, or Side 1, was an absolute beast of a side. There was lots and lots and lots of good things. However, I suspect this may start with Peter Shilton's handball because that was the one that failed to load on the other side. Anyway, without further ado, let's get this in a tape drive and go for it. So, let's just start with the most important thing. Happy New Year, or Merry New Year, if we're going to go with... Uh, and was it trading places, or was it coming to America, or was it both? You know, with Eddie Murphy in? Do you remember? Merry New Year! And whatever it was, I can't remember. I, I have a feeling it was trading places, but I think it could have also happened in the other one. Anyway, let's go with the usual. Stop me debating this already. I'm already debating things. We haven't started. Right, so this is a tape that we, we, we did um, side A or side 1 uh, last week. And it was a tape from my friend Eduardo. So, so let's have another load. And it was crammed. It was absolutely crammed to the brim with goodies. Nice, juicy ZX Spectrum goodies. So it was a really good... It's gonna, It's got to be a good one. That's a little background noise there. It's got to be a good one for the new year. Well, I'm hoping it is. This is where we discover there's only like two items in it. Oh, that's not good. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. What do, I, I know you want to do it, so so I've got the tape deck spared, uh, the other tape decks um, right next to me. So so what we'll do is we'll swap over. We'll put the all cassette recorder thing in it. So was it trading places or was it coming to America? The funny thing about coming to America is I remember watching coming to America for the first time, and I don't know when it was released, um, but I remember watching it in school of all things. For some reason, um, my class managed to, to or, or some people in my class, or certainly my class, I don't know how many of us were involved in this, um, managed to convince my my teacher at the end of you know when he used to, used to at the end of school used to watch like movies you know the end of term and all that kind of stuff convinced the teacher that, that we should watch uh, trading places and i just remember that particular scene where um he gets told to f off um in by 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 the neighborhood when he's shouting sort of happy new year or whatever it is out the window or i love america i think or something similar it one of the two so um i just remember that so let's go for it anyway let's see what see if we can See if we can get this one to push past that first initial load part. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know why I watched it in school. It was really weird. I think it was one of the... I must have held, had a, a sort of, a sort of a, a, I don't know, a, a sort of sheltered life, but it was one of the first times I heard the F word, to be honest with you. Must have been, I must have been like 13 or 14. To be fair, I didn't hear the F word until I was about 13 or 14. Nowadays they hear it like, you know, in, in every in 12 movie. Raymond Rodriguez. Ramon. Ramon Rodriguez. Oh, this sounds good. I've never even heard of this game. This sounds like an interesting one. Well, this could be one where we can't understand the blooming word. But anyway, it's another another Spanish one because it is from Eduardo from Spain. So um, he sent me such a lovely collection of um, 60 minute and 60 60 minute and 90 minute tapes. It's just unbelievable. No idea what this is. This looks interesting. Raymond Rodriguez. Yes, there he is, Raymond. Raymondo. Coffee time. I've got coffee. I've had to go caffeinated this week. I do apologise for not doing the, finishing the decaf off. To be fair, it's, it's it's had a good... We've walloped it a little bit, me and the wife. Um, we've, we've had a little go at the decaffeinated coffee. I think we're going... We'll better detox for the new year and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, um, no, we, we, we've, we've had a go at it. But today, I definitely need caffeine. And there is a specific reason why I need caffeine this year. Um, or, or today. I need caffeine because um, my little lad decided last night that he was going to stay up until about 3... 3.30am... Um, probably our own fault because everybody was so tired on I can't remember what day it was New Year's Eve maybe New Year's Day I don't know whichever it was New Year's Eve I think it was everybody was no one of the two anyway whatever it was it was either last year or this year one of the two 
Um, but we were so tired that we all sort of we went to bed and we all went to bed early. We went to bed at like twelve and whatever else is, and the little lad went to bed early as well um, for a change. He was he was fast asleep. And then we all proceeded, and I think we woke up at like eight o'clock in the morning because the dog went in the garden. We let the dog out from the garden, and then we all went back and laid back in bed, you know, and put your head down and went, oh, I'll just have a little rest, you know, a little tiny little rest. Um, yeah, and that tiny little rest turned into an absolutely mammoth sleep. Eleven thirty in the morning we got up. Eleven thirty, good God. Um, you're better to try and time your whole things. But to be fair, this whole um, weird Christmas week, it's been the first time in a while that I've actually had a break. I've had a few calls while I've been off, but nothing horrendous. Um, but it's been, it's been a while since I've had a break for so long, so I, I've, I've kind of slept, if that makes sense. i kind of slept, gone to bed at so 12, 1 o'clock in the no- that night, um, and then and, 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 and then just just slept for hours. Very quiet. Must remember to turn off the right tape there. Oh, there we go. Something's happening. That's crashed, hasn't it? That has crashed. Whatever that was, Raymond, Ramon, whatever it was. I don't even know know what that is. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think that we've actually got another game that we got to there because I think it crashed out. So what we'll do is I will take this out and we'll put the we'll we'll, we'll we'll see if we can we can see if we can find it Raymond on the old um uh blah, 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 the old play ZX um or yeah play ZX let's see if we can find Raymond and we'll see if we can load it there cuz I've never heard of it never 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 heard of it let's see if we can find Raymond on there not a good start to be honest with you Raymond Ramon Ramon Reg- Rodriguez 1986 Spanish. Well, we knew that already, didn't we? So let's let's bung the thing in here for this. Let's get that. Let's give it a let's give it an old load to do. Eighty six. Do we think? Do we think that it's a uh, that it's that it's going to be a um, hundred and twenty eight k? I doubt it. It's only three minute long. So let's go for it. There we go. Right. Okay. Push the play button. Push the button. Here we go. Raymond Rodriguez. Know nothing about this game. That's a good start. I always like games that I have no idea what they are. But it looks like it was only a level released in Spain. So, so to start off, it'll be st- Spanish language, which is fine. We never a problem with that. Oh, oh, caffeinated coffee. I need that. I'm running a bit on empty because I've also got up early this morning because. Um, we realised. I went out for a. You know. You know that. You know that this week's like, don't you? You know, this is kind of Christmas week, and you just basically lose track of time. So, so um, I've been given a little, uh, a little, a little sort of gift voucher for sort of food and goods from from work, which was really nice. And I thought, you know, and it's pretty one of these sort of um, fancy farm foody type stores. So, so you know, where it's sort of the the stuff comes natural and local and all this kind of stuff. And I thought that's great. And I thought, well, if I can use that, it saves me going out shopping again. You know, this this year I'll. I'll just I'll just go there and I'll buy the the, the, the some bits and pieces. So um, and I got there and I thought it's going to be expensive. So this, the, the voucher is going to go so far and then we're not going to be able. You know, it's not. And then I've got to put a bit of my own money in it. I actually paid for the lot. I was quite surprised. It was actually a lot cheaper. It was more. It was a combination of wholesaling type stuff and um, a lot of meat. If you're a meat lover, there was the meat count was just a massive meat count of pies and quiches, lovely things, all sort of homemade. We got a quiche and a few other things. And uh, to be to honest with you, I, I, I mean, if you this quiche was ham and quiche, right? And my missus is like, "There's so much ham in this." I like that's not normally the thing that most people complain about. You normally complain about the fact that there's like two pieces of ham in the entire thing, you know, and then it's, it's like a game to find it. And so, so, so there was so much ham in this thing. So she was complaining about how much ham was in it. I'm like, it's absolutely gorgeous. So it was actually really nice. But I, but I, but I bought some bits from there, and I kind of because it wasn't my normal shop, I was kind of I, I kind of confused. So I bought things and bits and pieces, and then you know got bits and then forgot all the things that I needed. And then we went somewhere else and got a few of the odds and sods, and we were like, that'll that'll do it. And it did, to be fair, until this morning. So so I had to go out and get a bit of shopping. Um, just, but I went early, so obviously at three thirty in the morning, roughly at three three thirty, according to my sleep thing, I got four hours and ten minutes worth of actual emotional sleep. 
that's pretty bad to be honest with you so i'm i'm running on four four hours and 10 minutes which is i i have done the whole you know you know not sleeping for 48 hours beyond but but i don't like it no i'm not a fan i like i like sleep um but i like staying up late um, but I don't like getting up early, so so it's it's hard for me realistically. So so but 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 uh, I I was forced to get up early. So so when I got up this morning, I went through into his bedroom and I said morning, just to make sure he was awake. And he 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 looked at me, groaned, and he went no. And now for for my son, that is quite a lot because he's he's, he's got technically got uh, well no he does have non-verbal autism, which means that he doesn't say if he does say anything, it's very very slim in words. He's got very few words that he can say. No being one of them, which he's very good at saying, and like most kids, I think, um, he's very good at saying no. Um, and then then he's got what else has he got? He's got a few other he's got a few other words, but yeah, no was the word this morning about getting up early. Well, I don't don't blame him. Do you? You know, it's all it's like it was like no. Well, yeah, but you kept us awake all night. It wasn't wasn't us, right? Anyway, Raymond Rodriguez number one is keyboard. Tell lad lado. Tell Alado, tell tell tech lado, tech lado, keyboard. I think I'm just saying it probably really wrongly. I do apologise to anybody who's Spanish that's listening. Oh wow, what the hell? He looks cool. Oh ah, I'm jumped off. I feel like I've played this game before. There's his jump. His jump's awesome. The yeah, graphics are great. Look at him. He's got little flappy wings, and you can guide him as he lands. I'm assuming I can't... Oh, can't hit the fire. What the hell am I going to do with that? Yeah, of course I've got no way past that. I've got to try again, though. Oh my god, that's tough. That's kind of cool, though. I like that. I wonder what the cover looked like for it. I bet it's really cool. Raymond Rodriguez. Raimondo. Hey, Raimondo. Why is he nude, though? He's got proper boobs, though. Look at them. Look at them moobs. It's right moob. Look, there's some just, some just some massive moobs. I'm sorry, I'm fat shaming him here. I shouldn't be fat shaming him, but but you know that I'm actually envious of his of his of his um, you know man breasticles. That, oh god. I love the way his hair explodes. Oh god. It's, got to get, it's a bit of harsh, though. Well, let's have another go. Raybon Rodriguez. And I, I got to be careful because that floor falls away. Where did it fall away? There. Whoa, sugar. Right, but if I go down here, I can float that direction and still die like an idiot. Forever. Yeah, I'm stuck now. It's because that infinite fall thing. This is one of those harshest games ever. Right, okay, let's have another go. It's, uh, do you know what, though? 86, it's quite a good example of what, what the specy was capable of, I guess. Oh, damn you. Vidas is live, so I'm guessing. Oh, died again. I don't know where to go here. This is just so tough. Well, one more go, and then we're going to try the next game, but that's kind of cool. This is just one of them games where you'd have to learn just just the just the It's like a man baby, isn't he, with his glasses on. Reminds me of a Rugrat. Remember Rugrats? If you don't remember what Rugrats are, you probably don't know don't probably confused why you're on this channel right now. Oh, it's not just not happening. No. What am I thinking? There's just no way out of this one, is there? Oh, that's so tough. That was so tough. Right, let's carry on with the next bit on the tape. Let's see what else is on there. That was Rodriguez. Rame, Romo, Ra, Raymond Rodriguez. I'm saying it with a silly, silly voice, but uh, oh, Raymond Rodriguez. Raymond. Dear Raymond Rodriguez. It's a serious friend of mine. Um, anyway, let's go back. Let's see what's on the air. I've, 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 I've swapped back to the other tape deck, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I think that's the end of Raymond. Because I rewound it a little bit. Here we go. Hopefully the new one. Dr -dr 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 
Yep, I'm waiting. Here we go. No, that's the end of Raymond, I think. Okay, let's see what's next. Here we go. That's uh, not a good one. It's not, it doesn't sound as good as the other side of the tape. Isn't that bizarre, isn't it? Because it's... I know that head's in a different location, but... You would think, as I've run through this tape already, that this would actually not be so bad. Well, we'll give it another try, and if it doesn't work from there, we'll, pull, we'll plug it in the other tape deck. There we go. No, right, we're going to plug it in the other tape deck. Give that a quick eject. When you get turn the volume up a little bit. See, that's one of the major issues with the with the with the with the with the with the plus two range. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them particularly, apart from the change in the chipsets and whatever else is that causes some incompatibilities, especially when you get to the black ones. But 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 uh, but the grey ones were effectively a plus plus just original one to eight K. Um, nothing more exciting than that. But the uh, but the but the but the but the the, the 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 you know the black ones are slightly different. But the, the issue is you can't turn up the volume. So I can turn up the volume with another tape deck, which seems utterly ridiculous, doesn't it? That you can't turn up the volume, and it doesn't have a tape counter. Why wouldn't you have a tape counter? It's bizarre, isn't it? It's bizarre um, choices. Kane, oh, uh, is this the Mastertronics game? It could be. I quite like Kane if it's the one I'm thinking of. This has a, this is a if I remember rightly, this is a, a gunfighter and he has to shoot down um like I think it's like vultures first with a bow and arrow, if I remember rightly. Or is this a different game I'm thinking of? I love to love the Codemasters, right? I don't know Codemasters. The, the, well, I used to love the Codemasters range as well, but I actually, th I actually think I preferred the Mastertronic range because they were more in my budget most of the time. They, you know, ninety-nine p to one ninety-nine. Most of the time, one ninety-nine. They were just spot on for my pocket money. I could go and buy a game every week with my pocket money. That thing, in theory, well, I had my Spectrum, and I had my Spectrum for a good long time, to be honest with you. I had my Spectrum right up till. 1980, 19, no, might even have been 1990 actually before I changed it over to a games console at that point, because um, I'd be onto the Mega Drive and the and 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 the and 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 then the, then the snares, um, but yeah, I had I had a good good long time with those consoles as a sort of um, a general sort of thing. It was it was it was it was it was it was they were they were good, but but as I say, the Spectrum had a good long time. So in theory, I could have had a lot of games because I got my Spectrum in '83. Could have had six years worth of games. It's three hundred and six games theoretically I could have had easily, not including Christmases. Wow, wasn't a bad little collection realistically, considering. I probably had more than that as well, because I'd have got some one ninety nine ninety nine P ones and some other ones. I tell you the game I am looking for, a Tangled Tail, a Hexagon Museum, and um, a Twisted Tail, I think it is part of it. It's a double play pack thing. It's a, like an adventure game thing. I don't know why, because I wasn't very good at them. They were text adventures. Um, it's a game that, you know when you, you the, the, there's ones in your head. It's for me, there's, there's like, there was Menace. I wanted Menace. I would have I would have spent al almost any kind of money on Menace. I wanted um, Chaos. And I did spend any kind of money on Chaos to get Chaos. I wanted uh, hit the Laser Squad one, and I got the Laser Squad one, um, which I've got. Uh, I've got the Rebel Star games, um, which which I wanted as well. Um, Julian Gallup, great creator of strategic games, um, but I wanted those. Um, but what Menace? I wanted Booty. Um, I wanted um, uh, Mister Freeze, all of which I've got. Um, and and then there was Green Beret. There was the Renegades, Renegade 1, Renegade 2, and there isn't a third one as far as I'm aware. It doesn't exist, does it? No, there's no such thing as Renegade 3, because that would be stupid. Whoever created a third one that wasn't very good. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, yes, I think this is the cane I'm thinking of. I think. I think. I've got to remember the keys. Um, designed by John Darnell. Mmm. Right, I'm going to drink my coffee and then we're going to have a go. A New Venture. That was another game I really wanted. Uh, zero? Yes, it is the game I'm thinking of. There we go. QAOP. NM. Not space. There, it's Z. That's right. We have to shoot the, shoot the duckies. Oh, I've got to get trail. Oh, God, got that one by mistake. Trying to hit that one up there. 
There we go. And there's a sort of trailing thing you've got to do with them. And I think you've got to get so many birds to, to get to the next level. Um, and it's like it's like it's like it's like cowboy simulator, except we're using Indian boars. I'm sure there's some 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 relevance to the whole thing. There we go. Got another one. Hey, I'm doing better than I usually do. I'm really rubbish at this normally. Oh damn! Missed it. Can't believe that. Birds home. Oh, I've got birds. I don't know how many I've got to get to 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 achieve my sort of goal in this. Oh damn! How many birds am I going to kill? Oh, and I'm on horse riding now. I've got. Press, I think I've got to press the X button to jump it. The X button, yeah, that's right. Z button, even. There we go. It kind of gives you... Oh. I've got to travel so many miles. Right, let's try again. I can have another go. Yeah, this is the one I'm thinking of. Definitely. Oh, damn you, birds. So I guess the number of birds you shoot is the number of birds you get a, a chance to... Oh, God. This is, that's more, this is more like me. Yep, this is more like me. Totally rubbish. Oh my gosh! I think I might lose here. This is more like me. I was totally off, uh, I was totally off my game. Normally my game is just rubbish. That's it. Game over, because I ran out of flipping things, because I didn't shoot a bird down. Let's have another go. Kane. Right, okay. Oh, goodness. What do you mean I didn't hit the bird? Oh, my gosh. I do like the graphics on this one, though. I think they're kind of cool. Shuka. Oh, my goodness. Totally, totally unbelievable. This is actually more my, my style, though, when this, this game. Oh, wow. One got to get got to get one with the next shot, although we're stuffed. I want to see the horse racing again. Horse racing. Oh my goodness! I missed. And I missed again. That's enough. I had enough. <laughs> I had enough cane. Oh my god, cane! Oh dear me. Yeah. No. So there's a few there's a few specy games over the time that I've wanted. I wanted uh, Operation Wolf. There's so many to remember though. That's the thing. Um, and so many little weird games. Rider, a bizarre game from uh, from 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 Virgin Games. Uh, there, there was just so many things that are there. There were some really ugly games as well that, that I always sort of um, wanted from. Um, is it Omega? house software house there's some of those that are just so ugly and and, and i have to be fair i haven't played them because i know they're so ugly oh frostbite's a good game um it, it just it just never never happens a lot of the sinclair ones you know the i'm just looking behind me that's why i stopped for a second there was a wee pause while i had looked behind me but 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 you've got you know the jet set willies raid over moscow joe blade i like joe blade what else do we have Swinging my head round. There's so many blooming good games, and they're, they're so worth playing. And even towards the end of the generation, when the thing about I love about the end of generations of things, it consoles, computers, the whole lot, the whole lot is that when you get towards the end of it, that's when you usually get the cream of the crop type stuff. I mean, they're they're all on about sort of uh, you know first party sort of games and titles and all this kind of stuff. Um, do you want something, young man? What would you like? Some juice? He says he'd like some juice. He says Jew. That's just the only word he's... Uh, the, uh, beyond no, he says Jew. Let me let me go ask him to get the, the bottle. Will you get the bottle and the the, the, the the cup and I'll bring it through and you can you can get... I'll pour you one. Do you want to go get one? You're going to get the juice and bring me the cup. I'll bring the cup as well. He's going. He's going. We've got, to, we've got to give him a few things to learn. Ah, there we go. Good boy. Right. Okay. We're just going to give him some juice now. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Perfect. 
Absolutely perfect. Do you want to take that back now? That's it. And you've done for the moment. Well done. Right, sorry about that intermission there. With, with the mum, mum's, mum's taking... It's been, well, as I say, it's been a weird... It's that weird Christmas week, isn't it? The one where we just don't know what day it is most of the time. Um, and the thing is, it's flown by so quickly and we haven't done a thing. Absolutely nothing. I, I, I think I spent the majority of my time either um, sort of catching up on my records of sort of, uh, you know, my little episodes, sort of episodic things that I do on Saturdays that you, you probably all watch. Um... I've got those, and I've got my sort of, you know, I do my, 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 my um, truck driving and other bits and pieces that uh, some of you watch and some of you don't. Um, and I'm just catching up on those kind of things. I've done a bit of that, catching up, a little bit of catching up. I feel I feel good about that because it means that I can get a bit of a break because that's, that's why I take my two weeks breaks between what's on the tape things is to kind of catch up with the videos that I need to do to kind of keep everything else going because just, you just don't have enough time with, with work and whatever else is. So I've got... You know that kind of stuff going on this week, but beyond that, I basically played. I played Skyrim. I raided the uh, the, the 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 Steam store on my PC for for shoot 'em ups, and I've got some really bizarre um, Japanese shoot 'em ups. Most of the most mostly quite good ones actually from Cave Interactive. If you know who they are, they, Cave makes some pretty good shoot 'em ups. Um, Escaluda comes to mind. Isn't that a good name to say? Um, that that's one of the, the one of the one of the ones that comes to my mind as as, as a, one of the Cave shoot 'em ups. But the Cave and sort of treasure and that kind of people and and uh, you know the the still creating them are still doing them um, Cave is also responsible for um, Dodo Pachi if you know what that is Dodo Pachi is a good game good shoot them up lots of points big scoring so so, so I got Death Smile by them as well the other day and I, I got a few things and I've been kind of and they were all kind of cheap I, I like cheap I, I love cheap I love st- sales so that kind of stuff but they're cheap they're like 79p and you know, 39p and I think the most expensive I paid for is like £5.39 or something like that um, and Stop that. Hey, care to define the keys? Now, I have played this before. Kempston joystick, no. So, left, right, jump, use. Got that wrong. Fire. Care, no. Left, right, jump, use, fire. Right, fire to start. So, with this little slug thing here... And we use that to use it, and that gives us firepower, I believe. Ah, right, we've used that item. We've picked it up. All right. Oh, we can't shoot him. Right, okay, fair enough. So we're this little sluggy thing at the top here. Anyway, um, it's a game that I I think I have. I can't remember having it, though. That's the problem. So we shoot that thing. We've got to save the other slug creatures. This is, this is one of these really harsh... Can I shoot him? Oh, I can shoot that one, but I couldn't shoot the one above. Oh, look at that. We've rescued zero of them, draining the life force. Well, that's fine. Let's have another go. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's not a bad little game, this one. I do, I kind of like it. Um, you got to use the ammo, by the way. I hadn't realised that I've got to use the ammo to put the ammo into my, my thing. That's that one shot. Right, get into this one. I've played this on the Amstrad CPC. Can I can I can I walk and jump? No, you can only jump straight up. Oh come on. I don't know what I'm meant to do here. I'm getting Creeping ever so slightly closer every time. Damn, that's so tough. That particular part. Is me concentrating here? You can tell. So pick that up. 
Use that, make that ammo. Let's get out of here. Ah! Idiot. Oh, that was close. There we go, got past that one. Frostbite. That is, that is crappy, that. Maybe I need to do that. Get myself sort of upright. That's sh sh shockingly tough. That's shockingly tough. Um, yeah, Frostbite. Um, it is a game. I feel like it would be good, but but it's so shockingly tough that you can't do it. Anyway, right. So, um, yeah, I was just saying about the the week we've been having. You know, the the, the kind of week we lose where you you do bits and pieces. Um, but I've been sort of been buying those games, and the other thing I've been doing is playing a lot of Skyrim because I'm a bit of a fan of Skyrim. I think. I think Skyrim's a great game, and it would help if I type load it did instead of doing whatever I've just done there. Delete, 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 delete. Enter. Right. Load it, it. Hopefully it'll work with the next one. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Skyrim. I'm a big fan of Skyrim. I've, I've, I've finished Skyrim once. This could be BC Bill, this, by the way. Which is a very odd game, if I remember rightly. I don't think I've ever actually played it. I think it's popped up before. I'm only assuming that because it's the only bill I can think of. No, it's Bazooka Bill. There we go. So it wasn't BC Bill. BC Bill is about um, clubbing women and taking them back to your hut as a caveman. Probably very, you know, inappropriate nowadays. Anyway, um, yeah. So, so Skyrim, um, one of my favourite sort of um, games. I just, I just, I just like the, you know, wandering around, doing really what I want to do. Yeah, there are storylines to follow, and you like getting tougher and tougher and tougher. But there's nothing. There's nothing. I have a little. I have bizarre obsessions in it, though. I, you know, even in certain computer games, I have bizarre obsessions. This is what I have obsession for: collecting things. Within, within, within the, uh, within, within the whole thing. I, I, I basically go into buildings, for instance, and collect. Um, you know, if I find people's sort of jewelry and whatever else, I collect that and put it to one side. If I find iron ore or buy iron ore, I change it using a magical spell into, to then silver, then gold, and then I make blocks of gold and I pile those up and I collect human skulls and I collect troll skulls. It's really bizarre. I don't know why. I used to do that in Oblivion as well. I had this thing about silver plates. I used to collect silver plates and just collect them. There was just like a wardrobe full of thousands of silver plates yeah there would be thousands by the end because i did play it for like sort of you know stupid amounts of time it was it was a huge amount of time i had in in, in oblivion it was a it was a it was just a just a, just a great game i really enjoyed playing it was on the um xbox 360 i played that a lot on the xbox 360 that's going back some time now but that's almost 15 years ago i think that came out 2006 yeah, fifteen years ago. Isn't that strange? Time flies, doesn't it? When you when it's time flies when you're having fun. It's it's one of those those bizarre sort of uh, um, things. Bazooka Bill. I don't know what this is. Don't think I've ever played Bazooka Bill. Kind of rings a bell though. I don't know what kind of bell. Large bell. <laughs> I could be own jokes here, to be honest with you. Making my own jokes as I go along. Coffee time. Another sup of the coffee. Go and give your brain the brain cells running. They are actually flagging a bit. I have to admit, it's been it's been as I say, been a long day, and I've been sort of I've been no, just just you know with the shopping and the, the other bits and pieces. And as I said before, you know you went went shopping. You you just need some some emergency supplies for the for the next week. So hopefully, hopefully. Oh, there we go. No idea what this is. Right, coffee quickly first. Oh, that's good. Coffee's good. Right, press any key to start. I can't find the any key. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Dad joke. Oh, there I am. At the bottom. That's me. Right. I'm punching. I'm 
running along the level punching everything. I've got the punch mode enabled. How am I throwing knives now? How did I swap the knives? Did I find a knife or something somewhere? I don't know what's going on. Well, you thought that N would one would go the other way. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. I goes the other way. That fires, right? What are the keys for this? Let me just try all the keys here. Let's see if I can see if I can find Melbourne House. I don't think I've ever played in Bazooka Bill before. Enter your initials. Yeah, well, if I could find the keys. Ah. There's Q. Ah, Q, Z. Oh, my God. Is it the... Is it the old... Oh, it is. Ah, right. Okay. It's the keys I thought that it would be. I don't know what I'm putting in here. There, there. CC, whatever else. Right, okay. Pressing the key to... I've got it now. I've got my attack button. I should be able to light, climb up here with this. There we go. I've got my attack button. I have never played this game before. I don't think. If I have, it's 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 a it's a it's a new one on me. If I have, it's a new one on me. It's not a new one on you if you've played it before, you idiot. I don't remember this one. I don't even remember what it looked like. It's Melbourne House, but it says on there. I don't remember this launching. I don't remember what it was. Don't remember anything about it. It's a very strange game. Pretty good though. Graphically, it's pretty good. It's a bit stupid. I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing. I think I'm just meant to be beating up terrorists till till they all die. Can I change my weapon somehow? How do I change my weapon? I don't know how I picked up a knife. Where did he get the knife from? All of a sudden, he had a knife later on. It would be nice to have a knife because I think they would be that would be kind of cool. He taps his foot a bit quick though, doesn't he? Notice he's tapping his foot straight away. Bazooka Bill. That's a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Now I have a machine gun. Oh, it's all over. The game is over. Just as I got to a machine gun. Oh. Yeah. You played Bazooka Bill before? I, I don't remember playing Bazooka Bill. It's the only Bill I could think of was BC Bill, and I couldn't think of any other ones. Mm, Bazooka Bill. Okay, I suppose. Not one of my favourite ones there so far. Not one of my favourite ones we've played so far. To be fair, though, they've all been pretty rough, to be honest, in the sense of difficulty. There we go. Let's press the play button. Let's press the play button, and let's see what we get next. It's exciting. We're more than halfway through the tape. We're about two-thirds of the way. But it's filled to the brim. This is short circuit. I'm guessing what everything is on this thing. Short circuit? Short circuit. This is probably the rest of the tape though, if I'm honest. This has popped up before actually. I feel like I've done this tape before. I can't remember doing it though. This is a bizarre part. I, I hate it when, I do, when this happens. I have this kind of, you know, rolling thought in my head that, that I've done this tape before. And then I go, hmm, have I? And then I look through all my tape things and I can't find a blooming tape that, that that's there. That's related to this. I almost always do this. And then it just, you go, no, nope, definitely not played this one before. And I just think to myself, I have. But I can't remember playing it. And look back at my tapes here. I'm looking back at the tapes that I've done. It's maybe just a copy of the same tape that we've done. I'm scrolling back through the extras and whatever else it is. I'll try to look for a tape that looks like the one we've just we've got because I've got the screen take take pictures done. I have every screen I've do. And short circuit. In fairness, I've done this a lot, this particular one. I've done this a lot. 
these uh, these 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 episodes. Um, so I, I, you know, it is it is possible that I have no, I definitely haven't looped because it's been ages since I got these tapes. Well, not that long since I got these tapes. It was only a couple of years ago, and that that would be that would be back in the season five at the latest. I would have said. No, that's the no, definitely not. Just just it just seems like I've been doing it before. Yeah, tape A, tape A. It's just weird though when it feels like I've done them before. I'm right looking right back, my god. When do we start doing this? I'm just interested. I'm just interested in the first when I first recorded one. What's the date out of interest? That's two years ago. Two years ago. Very very first tape was a Memorex ninety, if you remember. And the the, the whole episode had lasted nine minutes and forty one seconds. Because it went really badly wrong. Oh, and somebody's thumbs downed it. Can you believe that? A thumbs downed it. I guess because I found nothing on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Thumbs down for a, for, a, for a thing. Lots of 14, 14 thumbs ups though, so we're not going to worry about that. Yeah. And then we got some other ones. The little ones. Short tapes. I do enjoy doing these. It's only two years that I've been doing it though. What was the date? The actual date on that? Beginning of February, I think it was. No, October. October 2018. October, gosh. 17th of October 2018. So we've been doing it two years? 1920? Yeah, two years. Two years. We're getting up, we're going for, th for three now. Yeah, that's right. Going for three. This year, at, you, this year in October, it's three years of what's on the tape. It's amazing to think that. It's amazing how quickly the time flies, though. To be honest with you, let's, let's be honest. Time flying is 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 definitely a definitely a a, um, a a thing nowadays. However, do we get to count yet? Last year, because I don't really want to have a birthday last year. If it would, if it's if 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 it was uh, if, it, if if we could not count it, because last year was just one of them years, wasn't it? Where we all worked. If you either worked or you just were on furlough for most of it, which was pretty pretty rough for most of us. I'm hoping this year's a lot better. I mean, we got we got we got vaccinations to come. Bottoms up for everybody. That was uh, that was that was something that somebody posted. I think it was I think it was uh, I think it was Mel the Bell. Mel, I did see that one. I thought it was quite funny actually. To be honest with you, there's a lot of bottoms in the air with needles being fired at them um, for, for everybody getting vaccinated in happy 2020 uh, 20, 2021 um, yeah 2021 don't feel like we got away from 2020 when we say 2021 uh, anyway <laughs> but this is a big one this is a this is a game that I feel I should know how to play and I should have a go on and I should do something with but I haven't so um yeah it's not a 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 it's not one that i've uh, yeah i should have a try at it but i but i haven't had a try of it to be honest with you i should give it a, a good old go realistically oh that's not a good sign that sounds like it's finished not loading I might need to swap over to the old um, one to the old the old um, 128k loader on the machine. There's probably enough space and tape for at least another one thing to be on here. I don't know what, but we might have space for another one. Let me find a little short circuit on Play ZX. And we'll get that loading because I'm sure it's there. Without a doubt, short circuit's there. Short circuit. Your Sinclair short circuit is one minute. And one second long. I see that's the demo. Oh wow! Hit Squad re-release is eight minutes and two st and four eight minutes four. Should we go with the um, part one for the forty eight k? Let's do part one for the forty eight k because that that's just that's just horrendously long. Otherwise, let's do that. Part one for the forty eight k. I think that was the one hundred and twenty eight k version we were loading there. Actually, to be honest with you, that's probably why it didn't. That's probably why it crashed out. Let's do this. This is the 48k version. 48k. And we have played this before on the channel. It has popped up. It has popped up. Um, 
There was one, there was an episode where everything fell apart and I swapped to another, another tape, didn't I? Halfway through, because there was, there was, was there nothing on it, if that I remember rightly. That wasn't that, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't that episode, is it? This isn't, this isn't, this isn't that tape. I don't know. Bizarre if it is. Oh, I think this is, that's the... I definitely loaded. No, that's not the one. I, I, I do you know something? I, I, I just feel, just sometimes I feel with these things that I've definitely played it before and I'm not, I'm sure I haven't. My brain's going blooming mental right now, going, have you played this before? Have you not played this before? There we go. This will be the 48k version instead. <laughs> if I've played this before, I do apologise. I just can't see it on any of the intro screens. That's the only thing about it. If I could see it, I would be like, yeah, that's the one. I've played it before. And it wouldn't be it would be it would be with it wouldn't be one with a case. Oh, stop stop second guessing yourself. Man up and take it on the chin. This is the this is the this is the tape it is. I think it's just I'm guessing everything, that's the only thing. You know, all the titles are coming up and I'm guessing what they are. So 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 I'm just assuming that I've played it before. Guessing the titles and assuming I knew what it was, so so that's that's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, short circuit. Short circuit is an iso. No, it's not isometric, is it? It's. Is it? Oh, now I can't even remember. No, I don't think. No, nope, it might be. Can't remember. I really can't. I just remember the movie because he's he's is he called Johnny Five or something like that? Number Five, or he calls himself Johnny Five. It's basically a laser defense robot that they're they're, are, they're creating for the military. Bizarre part about this is when this film was made. I don't know whether they were actually making these robots at this point, but nowadays this he would actually be, he would actually exist, wouldn't he? Because maybe not not as uh, a sentient being, but he would exist as a robot that would um, defuse bombs, or um, in some cases they use them to go into situations where they want to know if there's somebody inside or whatever else it is, and they they, they basically attach machine guns to them nowadays. Maybe maybe not space age lasers as Johnny Five has in this, but 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 they, that, that's that kind of thing, and are that. And that actually happens nowadays. I mean, it's like a lot of things, isn't it? It's like drone pilots for those as well. Just you know, without the the the, the pilots, because you, you've seen them, didn't they? Um, was it? Oh, it's one of the Bushes, George W. Or the other one, George Bush. Could have been George Bush actually. Um, whichever one was senior, can't remember. Oh, sorry, was it senior? Was it junior? Could have been junior. Um, but anyway, whichever Bush it was. That's crashed. That's gone really well. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. We've we've got we've had a crash. It's exploded. It's broken. It's not working. Um. So, but one of those guys um, basically started a program of uh, using drones and things like that. And I think they also started a lot of the uh, the sort of drone flights and things like that, and robotic stuff that that was was there it wasn't completely um altruistic though because they actually had shares in a company that created robots and much like a lot of things there was there was there was some of them there was other some other financial motivation for the whole thing it wasn't it wasn't just uh to be lovely to the world and you know or not not that military robots are lovely to the world but not you know there was no there was it was they it was something they did ah short two so this is part two of Short Circuit, which is absolutely useless to us because, and we definitely haven't played this one before, because I know for a fact, because um, I, it was the 128k version. Ah, feel better now, because my system of actually marking off what the blooming tape I've done is um, is useless. Absolutely useless. I'm going to get framed, you know. I was thinking about this just now. It's just run through my head, right? What's on the tape? I think I should get them framed. I should get a season framed. And then I should give them away as a competition or something similar. 
That sounds like a good idea. Well, maybe not competition, but maybe give it away or something similar. But maybe get season frame because there's ten tapes next season, apart from the uh, very long lockdown one back in March. But but the, for the most part, there are ten episodes, ten tapes in a season, and whatever else is. Maybe we should just get them framed. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? At some some point. I don't know why I'm loading this, by the way. I, I'm I'm look I'm just being stupid at this point because I think I just wait to get through it to the other side. We'll see if it loads. It's the actual answer, but it probably come up with a code. I wonder if we can find the code online. Let's see if I can find the code for this. Let's see if we can get into this. So, what is it? Short Circuit 2, isn't it? Short Circuit. Let's find the code. If we can get into it, then we'll we'll try it. 2 code ZX Spectrum. There must be a code to get into it. There must be a code that we need to get in there. <coughs> um. Okay. I'm looking. I am goggling it as we speak. Proper goggled instructions. In-game maps. There's the picture of Johnny Five. There's the picture of the um, Erby, Erby, Erby version, which is this version, isn't it? Is it Erby? Don't know. Let's see if I can find a. Let's see if I can find a. There must be a code for it. There must be a code to get on stage two. Some games did that. John, um, uh, um, what's it called? Something. Freddy Hardest did that. Freddy Hardest required a code. So did Savage, actually, come to think of it. They all required a code to get onto the second second level. A bit annoying, really. Yeah. I can't seem to find it. This is going to be annoying. I wonder if the code is Johnny Five. There's a walkthrough here. Yeah, but that's the 128k version. That's going to be no good to us. No good at all. It isn't an isometric, by the way. I'm looking at the walkthrough. It's not an isometric as such. Um, it's more three-dimensional. The, the kind of boxed rooms and whatever else is. Um, so it's not quite the same thing. Movie license tie-in, team who made it, graphics are very nice, chart busting, cassette inlay. Well, we'll just give it a try. We'll give it a try. We'll see if we can see if we can work it out. See if we can work out part two. Load to tip, play the recorder. Tone, consult chapter 6 in your manual, on screen instructions, keyboard, here we go, computer links, searching for things, robot guards, part 2. It doesn't actually tell you whether or not it needs a password for part 2. You would hope it does, because the, 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 then otherwise you wouldn't, you'd be skipping past it really easily, but at the same time you might not care. I don't know. It's a tough one, isn't it? It really is. It's a tough... Uh, yeah. Don't know. Right. Anyway, back to back to the, back to the show. Hello. I'm still here. You still there? I hope you haven't wandered off. <laughs> I got my boar in there. It's got me bizarre, actually. I got a lost lost the plot realistically. Oh, we crashed again. Marvelous. He really doesn't like loading on that. If it's not the 128k version, it's just not happening. Short circuit. We played it before. Um, I'm not. I was gonna. I'm gonna stick. I was gonna stick it on the end, but I'm not going to because because we played it before. And I'm. St and all you're gonna see is me driving around in a rough circle, doing sort of, uh, um, you know, a sort of, a run away, Benny Hill style, sort of, you know, da 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 you know that that one. Um, right. So we've got space for another. We must definitely have space for more. I hope you've left room. Oh, we're footballing again. It seems to end on football. He likes football. Who, you know, whoever this got this tape from? Um, because um, what Eduardo does, Eduardo, Eduardo is uh, is part of the new um, Toposoft team. Um, he re he does the covers for the cassettes. He's the kind of the artist and the layout guy and all this kind of stuff. Um, if you've got any of the new ones um, from Toposoft, from the their hit squad, their new hit squad, um, they that that he's the he's the man who did the art for it. In fact, he sent me one signed as well, a copy of his of the uh, latest hot uh, hit squad. Um, what was it called? I'm 
just looking behind me. I can't remember this. Oh, it's Peter Shilton's handball. It's bound to happen at some point. Lorna. That was what it's called. Sorry, I had to go. I had to lean behind me. I forgot what her name was. Lorna. Um, she's by an artist, funnily enough. I did a little bit looking for this artist. He used to do... He used to do... Um, <clears throat> Not quite art pamphlets in, in the sorts, the sense of, uh, of, of, of uh, you know, I don't know, Razzle or Mayfair, but, but, but he did that kind of art, if that makes sense. It's erotic art, um, cartoon stuff, that's what he, that's what he did. Um, and Lorna's one of his characters, in fact, she's one of his major characters. She's kind of Barbarella-esque, if you've ever seen Barbarella, which is, which is where you get the music group Duran Duran from, because Duran was the name of the guy with the... Um, Let's just get this right. I think I'm just thinking about this. Back to Barbarella, right? Barbarella, just for a second. It would just, you know, the Duran Duran, whatever else. I, I, the, the, the thing for me is, so you got to remember what was the name of the actress? Oh, it's escaped me. But she, the first thing, scene of it is her floating around in 1968 in a spaceship, um, putting her clothes back on again, um, and that's how it starts. And that's basically how the whole movie goes. She, she, she works her way through the entire cast. Um, sexually this is you know she bonks her way through the entire lot um, <laughs> and, and 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 they try and torture her with a with a sex machine which Duran Duran pumps up to full blast I know it sounds like an, an adult movie but but to be fair it was meant to be it was softcore whatever it was wasn't it at the time it was it was it was it was it was, it was sort of naughty but not really kind of thing I don't know I'm, I'm bending I'm doing it I'm doing that whole you know that when Spock gets confused and his eye one eyebrow goes up and the other one goes down I can do that and that's what I do when I look confused my missus always goes to you look ridiculous when you're doing that but uh, um, yeah but it's my confused look uh, I sometimes do it when I'm looking confused you know the eyebrow up and one down at the same time but can't do it the other way around though I look a bit stupid when I do the other one. I'm just trying to do it now, and I go like one eye winking and the other one not. Um, but but yeah, so Barbarella. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was getting at. Oh, Lorna, that's right. So Lorna is that kind of Barbarella-esque character anyway. So that's the hit squad things anyway. So Eduardo gets a lot of he 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 does he, for his own collection. He likes to collect up um, tapes um, and redo the covers. So he's he actually hoovers up. Um, tapes without any covers he quite likes them so so i quite often send him batches of you know when you get a bundle and you get a whole bunch of tapes that are like and you don't want to bin them because they don't exist anymore they don't make those games anymore they don't they don't make those those things so I, so whenever i get a bundle of those together and i actually have a box room at the moment um i'll have to have a check now now we've done all the Brexit stuff, it'll probably cost me a fortune just to import it nor export it and send it as a gift. It's bloody ridiculous. But anyway, um, that's an aside. So, so he he um, he he basically he puts he puts the covers and the tape back together again and puts them back in the original sort of format and you know it, it reproduces effectively the the original covers, which is I think is really quite nice. I like I like that. I like the fact that he does that. So, but he gets as a result he gets quite a lot of batches of just tapes that are where they where they're like this. You know, just this. This sort of bunch of tapes that do bits and pieces. I have never played Peter Shilton's football. Number one. I might not be able to play Peter Shilton's football again. Five. I might actually not be able to play Peter Shilton's football. This is just naff. Come on, Peter. Let's play. I can't move. Can't move the keys. Nothing, nothing moving. I just press shift. No, nope, nothing's working. Right, we'll have to load that one separately. So, um, come back to you, Peter. And hopefully, we'll get you on the other on another machine. We'll do, we'll do we'll do a bit on the end of that. I'm not doing short circuit though. No short circuit. You've seen short circuit. You're just going to see me travelling around like an idiot in short circuit, not knowing what I'm doing. I'm not going to do much better with Peter Shilton's football, to be honest. With, but but at least at least it's there. Um, so and mo without a doubt, I've never played Peter Shilton's football, so it's definitely a different tape. It just happens to have some similar things on there. But I I, I think that's the thing, isn't it, about what the tape we did actually somebody asked me this before whether or not i had a now it's very quiet now so this might actually that might have been the last thing on the tape we'll get peter shilton's football though and, and, and we'll put it on there we'll put it on we'll, we'll do plays at x first and we'll see if we can find it um but somebody asked me or suggested that i should uh um should try 
Peter Shilton's handball. The bug bite release. The let's do the bug bite release. Bug bite released it. Interesting. That'll be a re-release though, I would say. The bug bite one will be re-released. No, it's definitely empty. Yep, that is empty. That's the end of the tape. It's definitely empty. Right, okay, Peter Shilton, you're going in. Right, let's get let's get Peter Shilton on here. We'll get this tape deck in there, plug it in, we'll go for it. We'll go for a Peter Shilton. Yeah, somebody asked me, we should really do a tally at some point of all the ta the games that we played. I just don't have the time to go through all my blooming videos and do a tally of them all. It would be nice, though. We'd like to, like, quite kind of like to know how many, um, you know, Peter Shilton footballs we've played, how many um, Manic Miners. And it's, it's it's always interesting to see, and I, I don't know whether it... I don't know whether or not um, Spanish-wise there are different. They had a they they had a different class of game that they would have they would have they would have gone through. Do you, do you not if you know what I mean? So did the did, did people in Spain have a particular set? Because for instance, there no manic minor, not a single manic minor. You'd have thought we'd have seen a manic minor, but it wasn't there, or a jet set willy, or something similar. You didn't see it. Um, there's and there's certain games that are almost almost synonymous with the, with this with this with the ZX Spectrum and the whole thing. It must have been the Grand Slam version we were playing earlier. That's interesting. Um, so, so those games that would just appear, though you expect to be appear, um, and they just didn't appear, and they haven't appeared. I don't think on on all of Unwilder's tapes we've actually seen a repeat of what you would have seen in the UK. Isn't that interesting? And guess as well. Um, as a sort of timing thing, think about the timing. You wouldn't, we, you know, internet existed, but it wasn't accessible to everybody. Anybody, realistically, you'd have to be, you know, working in, in sort of universities, military or medical sort of things to actually get to a to an internet terminal of that sort. I mean, to be fair, when I first started in uh, in, in, in 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 sort of my IT career, um, my my where I was, I mean, I I. I Modems were the things, and and to be fair, we didn't link to the internet. To be honest with you, at all, it didn't really didn't really happen when I first hired. We had terminals, dumb terminals with computer stuff, with computer data on. Um, still, PCs were not a thing. They weren't. You weren't. You weren't doing so much with PCs as you do do nowadays. Um, it's really bizarre, though. I mean, it, for me, it's gone full loop with the fact that we've all gone to sort of cloud-based storage for things, and you know that that that's kind of where it's all ended up. But it's interesting to think that. That, that that we we didn't um, and dialing up for the internet was was a paid for thing. You paid for the line. You paid for the service. So you know, um, I think what did I have first? I had FreeServe first. Everybody remember FreeServe? I think that was Dixon's who originally owned FreeServe. Do you remember FreeServe? That's what I first had. My first sort of dial up from home was FreeServe, and I used to have to keep a spreadsheet of all the. Uh, all of the all the time I spend online, so that I wouldn't get a surprise from my phone bill, um, and then you had to dial when it was certain times of the day, so that you could do it. And of course, once you dialed and somebody connected, you couldn't do what this, that, and the other. Um, those those were the days when when pictures used to appear on the screen, line by line by line by line. You had to watch slowly as they did it. Instead, of nowadays, where they instantaneously turn up. Um, well, it depends where you live, to be honest with you, because because I suppose I suppose if you've got poorer um, ADSL and whatever else is, you might not get it. You might even have dial up in some places. Who would sat like ooh. satellite can be a bit rough to be honest with you so so especially for upload anyway downloads not too bad but upload can be pretty awful but 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 the thing is that we didn't really we didn't really have that kind of thing so when it came to sort of spectrum stuff and this is the you know when I get back into the the spain and the uk thing um that's really good thank you for rebooting on me lovely that's just marvelous news let's try it again one more time because i'm yakking anyway so let's yak and load peter shilton again come on then peter I think this is going to be. I think this is going to be a mistake. I think we need to. I think we need to move on to another device in a second. If this doesn't work, we'll move on to another device. So, uh, push the play button. There, yeah, press the play. There's the Grand Slam version of it. So fingers crossed. Anyway, um, where was I? I was. I was waffling, wasn't I? Let's go back to waffling. So, of course, the Spanish would have would have had their would their, their rings of people, you know, copying and doing whatever else. It's piracy type things, Ooh. special stuff, the special stuff, um, um, the, the special stuff. 
it would have been different groups of people, wouldn't they? So the UK stuff would be slightly different, I guess, than the Spanish stuff, because they, they had their own producers and redistributors like that particular company that was basically every almost every game on that particular tape, over and above what the, 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 the British were, were, were doing. So it's kind of interesting, I, I think it is anyway, the, the, the way that culturally it wouldn't have changed. I guess suspect now... Um, piracy is on a on a massive level, and and those if you had special tapes now with the access to the internet, you'd have the same sort of things. The same sort of games would be seen as as good and probably appear on those tapes. I suspect if if that's the case, I'm sure if you if you went looking for it nowadays and you went you went looking for for for, for games and whatever else it is that people wanted, you'd probably find all the latest sort of triple A titles. Um, my my. My, my 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 love for AAA is is uh, waned over the years. It's got worse and worse and worse. I'm not not a I'm not a fan of the the AAA title. I, I don't mind certain ones, and you know you could have said that Skyrim was a AAA title, but to be fair, it's eight years old now, um, and it had proper DLC for it, and it worked on every console and worked on every PC. It's a trip. It might have been a AAA title, but it's eight years old. Um, I think anything. I don't know. I don't know what the point was that it changed for me. Um, I think it was this generation of consoles. So you're talking. It's eight years old. It could be older, actually. Skyrim. Thinking about it, I'm saying I'm thinking it's 2012. But when did the consoles come? The new consoles come out? Is it 2013? Are they seven years old? God, they can't be that old. I say the new consoles. I'm talking the PS4 here and Xbox Xbox One could be actually anyway but whenever that came out I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm now really wondering about that actually but but, but my intention sort of uh, you know I don't know waned for it realistically at that point I'm googling it I've goggled it November 2011 this is nine years ten years old this year ten year old game there's just a point though where they started doing all the microtransactions and put forcing in DLC that wasn't proper DLC, wasn't you know you weren't getting your money's worth, and I just I I, I fear for for instance the Doom franchise uh, we're in, we Doom Doom 2016 was a good game there was some DLC uh, downloadable content it was minimal realistically it wasn't there wasn't an awful lot of force stuff we got the new Doom Eternal again minimal amount just recently. Uh, was that this year? Could have even been this year, Doom Eternal. And then you've got you've, you you just know that Microsoft purchasing um, uh, Bethesda, whatever it is, it's the name of the place, isn't it? Um, but buying them, Microsoft were one of the first companies to add DLC. You know, they were and, and DLC and microtransactions were one of the first companies. They did it through. Um, originally Xbox Live, um, they built on the first service from the original Xbox, second Xbox, and then they, they started to build little microtransactions like buy this and buy this and buy that for your for your character and buy outfits and this kind of stuff. And insidiously they, they've been pushing them as much as anybody else and and, and, and I, 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 I it shouldn't be the norm. It should not be the norm. And the only way you fight back, by the way, is by not putting your hand in your pocket and not buying anything from these people. If you have to buy it, buy it second hand. Or wait for a sale and buy it for pennies so that they're not making a lot of money from it. You know, that's the only way you, you fight it. And it's not going to blooming work. It doesn't like a 128k machine. It wants to work on something smaller. So we're going to have to put another Spectrum. So we'll do that anyway. Um, I'll put another Spectrum on and we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll load up Peter Shilton's football. Just because, like, we need to. So we need to see Peter Shilton's football. But, uh, yeah... The fight bite begins. I have stopped myself personally, and I won't buy one this year. So there'll be no AAA titles. Um, it'll all be it'll all be uh, it'll all be uh, indie games and and cheaper stuff and uh, second hand if I if I really want to. But anyway, let's stop for a second and let's pop on Peter Shilton's football. Hopefully, um, on the Omni. I'll get the old Omni out. One second. Right, 
I'm back with Peter Shilton's football on the Omni. Um, funnily enough, I've just discovered that if you press the keys, you move up and down. However, to be fair, I had to change it to 48 KMO to, to actually get it to work. So, um, I'm going to look at the redefined keys now. If I press the enter key, I can do that. The ball kind of bounces backwards and forwards. So, up, down, left, right, M fire. That's better. So, M's fire now. <clears throat> so, we'll go for a one-play game. He says. One for one player game even. Right. Initials. I love it when the controls are just not obvious. Right, okay, we can choose what team we want to be. Um we're gonna go with a with a with with, with any old team realistically. But I'm gonna go to, to crew Alexander because I have no idea. Alexandra. Ha uh, ha no, I don't have a keys code. Let's do a practice se practice session. Uh, prepare for match. Here we go. Oh, look. There we are. Look at that. That's us moving the can of in groups. Oh, Peter Shilton's let them in. The goal go in. APS. I don't know what APS is. Goal! That was not a good practice session. So, I'm, I'm the goalkeeper. I've got to stop the ball. Which way is he going to boot it? Oh, did I stop it? No! It scored a goal again. I should have stayed where I was. Should have waited until the last second, waited for him to move the ball. Got a practice session. Oh, quite interesting, actually. I don't think I've played this. I've definitely not played Peter, Peter Shilton's before. Oh, too slow with my dive. Too slow. Quite like it, actually. I'm already diving the wrong way. You're just the goalkeeper, it seems. It's pretty tough, though. To say the least. Very green as well. Oh dear. I'm terrible. I'd like to save one. One would like be nice. I'd like to save one. Just one. You saved zero shots. Great. Uh, quick practice. Yes. Let's have a proper game. Play my game. This is a mistake. This really is. Press fire at the beginning. So QPR's coming at me. I am the goalkeeper. It's you. Just you're just the you're just the goalkeeper. You all, I say just the goalkeeper. You're always the goalkeeper. So that's what it is. You've got to stop the the shots on goal. So, crew scored. That's cool. I saved it, and I got it, and I grabbed the ball. Yes, I saved one. So we're just the goalkeeper. This is a this is a new take on football. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Yeah, it's a new take on football from my point of view. I quite like it actually. Peter Shilton's thing. I probably got this somewhere, which is even worse. Is he gonna? Where's he gonna make a shot? I saved it. Quick on the ball. It doesn't matter, it just saves it. It just uh, nobody goes to the ball afterwards. Second half, I did alright. Crew three. QPR two. These are some 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 scoring teams. He's gonna where are you gonna hit it? Oh he scored! He scored! I, oh, I did my best there. I did my best as a keeper. I quite like this actually, strange in the way. Oh saved it! Yeah! I love it. Well, I'm glad this loaded in the end. Even if I did have to change it to... Oh, I've saved it! And I got the ball. Oh, I'm quite pleased with this. No! Went the wrong way! 4-4. These are some thrilling games with these scoring like this. Finish 4-4. Four, four. What's up, upgrade, skill upgrade? What's this about? Save all four shots for an upgrade. Fair enough, let's do it. Nope, that's not going to happen. There's one shot missed. 
I wonder what happens. I can't upgrade my skill like that. I quite like that. Go have another go. Try to see if I can get my upgrade. Yeah. I was on the line. No, it's in. I do like that. That's really good, actually. Peter Shilton's football. That's one to go find, actually, for sure. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And I will catch you next week with uh, Volume 3. See you later. Bye-bye.